A strong line of thunderstorms is moving to the east across southwest Alabama and northwest Florida. Current time is 4.45 p.m. here in Bruton, Alabama, where we are producing this video again at 4.45. Heavy rain in the greater Bruton area extending down Highway 41 to the south. In Santa Rosa County, it's Florida State Highway 87. And if you happen to be driving in those areas right now, understand that very heavy rain is happening as this line of storms continues pushing off to the east. Let's take you in bit by bit into the specific counties so that you can see what's happening in your uh, specific area. We'll start in the north and work our way south. Here's Conecuh County, and you can see that this line of storms has just started moving into the Evergreen area. Ultimately, in the next few minutes, it's going to end up in places like Paul, Melrose, Brooklyn, J Villa, and Nymph in the eastern side of Conecuh County. But no severe thunderstorm or tornado warnings are in effect. Uh, for Conecuh County or for any county across our region. We'll move to the south so that you can see Escambia County, Alabama. Lots of heavy rain has happened in the past 10 to 15 minutes in Bruton, in East Bruton, in Pea Ridge, and in Pollard with this heavier band of uh, showers and storms. Let's get in there closer so that you can see exactly what's happening in uh, southern Escambia County, Alabama, and northern Escambia, or excuse me, northern Santa Rosa County in Florida. Got a new radar sweep coming by there, and you can see that we've had this heavier band of rain move across Jay and Mount Carmel, now on top of Riverview and Dixonville, moving off to the east. And so again, if you can hold off on traveling in the next few minutes south on Highway 41, State Highway 41, that is, or Florida State Highway 87, I would certainly encourage you uh, to do that. Let's zoom out and show you a wider view and you can see that this line of storms extends down into the northern Gulf of Mexico as well. Here's Escambia County, Florida, Santa Rosa County here. That's where the brunt of the storm is now. Very heavy rain falling near Berrydale. In fact, that, that appears to be the strongest part of the storm and the line extends down to near Navarre as it continues pushing off to the east. So if you're in Okaloosa County, if you're in Destin, Crestview, also Auburn, Florida, areas near Baker and Milligan, very heavy rain about to begin in those areas as well as Covington County over here in the southern part of Alabama. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center is considering issuing a tornado watch for portions of the Wiregrass region, Enterprise, Dothan, Geneva, also Daleville, all could go under a tornado watch in an hour or so as this line of storms continues pushing off to the east towards Andalusia, Op, Florala, and Carolina. Again, all those areas are going to have very heavy rain, likely in the next hour or so. We'll conclude with uh, one final view across the region so that you can see a wide view of what is happening. Here's the wide view, and again, that line of storms has worked its way to the east across uh, much of our region and a few counties to go, Butler, Covington, Okaloosa, and then that thing, the line of storms will be out, and we could have some isolated showers after that tonight. I don't think the severe weather issues are going to be very prominent tonight. We could have an isolated severe storm, but nonetheless, the severe weather threat is much, much lower for now. More severe storms possible next week. We will deal with that with time. The good news is we haven't had many damage reports today, several hail reports, but again, good news, not much damage.